We end the week with Steve Hartman and a young man's quest to travel back in time on the road. Whoa. Even in Texas, a horse only gets you so far. Which is why, as we first reported last year, Justin Rozier started thinking about a car. Specifically, he told his mom, Jessica, he would love to have a car, any car, that his dad once owned. Whoa. I mean, it could have been a 1974 Dodge Astro. I don't even know if that's a car. But he, it could have been anything, and he would have said yes. Why? I know that he wishes his dad was here. In 2003, Justin's dad, Army First Lieutenant Jonathan Rozier, died in Iraq. Justin was nine months old. Today, he cherishes anything that used to belong to his dad, which is why he thought it would be so cool to have his car. I don't know, like just knowing that, it would, that he had it, it's a whole lot different than just any other thing, really. Unfortunately, yeah. after John died, Jessica had to sell the car a 99 Toyota Celica convertible like this one. Finding it again would be nearly impossible, but Jessica said she had to at least try. This is a needle in a haystack. Well, I've seen magical things happen on Facebook. So she posted the old VIN number with a note asking for help. And somehow that message made it all the way to Pleasant Grove, Utah, where local residents not only found the car. We decided, you know, let's, let's see if we can buy the car. This is Kyle Fox, and I'm not saying so I'm he's a saint, to do but like that, to serve and um, and that butterfly just... stayed there for half an hour. <laughs> no, I don't even know where I was in that. <laughs> anyway, Kyle got donations to purchase the car and then assembled a team of volunteer mechanics to fix it like new. All of this, unbeknownst to Justin, until this very moment. Kyle drove the car from Utah to surprise Justin for his 15th birthday. Go see it. I can't tell you what this meant to Justin. I mean, I really can't. He tried to explain it to me, but when he opened his mouth, no words fell out. It's a link to the past for him. Yeah. It's a big thing for me, too. I never got to see him come home. So that just one moment right there was... I think I needed that. <laughs> Obviously, this was never about a car. No, this was about trying to push past what you can't forget. Trying to remember what you never knew. And on this most American holiday weekend, it's about appreciating all the layers of sacrifice. I'm so glad we could do this for you. Steve Hartman, On the Road, in Moore, Texas.